In depth, the murder of Model from STL slash EBT. This is my third episode in the in-depth series, where I go into detail about selected murders. In this episode, I will tell about the murder of Model from STL slash EBT, who was shot and killed on October 13, 2012. This murder has for long been linked to King Von from a block, and I have previously stated in several videos that both Von and T-Roy were present at the murder. Today, I received the murder report from the Chicago Police Department who listed King Von as the sole shooter in the murder of Model from STL slash EBT and attempted murder of his cousin Miles. The murder report was ruled as an exceptional clearance this year in July which means the homicide investigation is closed in the listed suspect. King Von, were the one responsible for the murder and attempted murder. Sadly, the report doesn't go too deep into what exactly happened, it wasn't much details but I will explain it either way. Basically, Modell was standing with a group of friends, who I won't mention by name since they are all witnesses and made statements about what went down. Suddenly King Vaughn appeared together with his right hand man T. Roy from a block, according to witnesses, King Vaughn then approached the group, pulled out his gun and started shooting Modell who is believed to have been the intended target. King Vaughn shot Modell three times which caused him to collapse, the bullets from Vaughn hit him in the upper chest lower right arm and one in the right middle side of his back. My guess is that he didn't have time to shoot Modell more times because just seconds later, Modell's cousin, Miles, ran up to Modell and embraced him to shield his body, that's the moment when King Von decided to shoot Miles multiple times as well. Miles got hit with multiple bullets to the upper and lower back which resulted in Miles getting paralyzed and was also in a coma for a long time before waking up. Modell who is a documented gangster disciple from the faction STL slash EBT, was only 17 years old when King Von shot him dead. At first, when only the incident report was available for the public, many thought it was actually D. Roy who killed Modell since his description was the one written in the incident report. However, this murder report proves not only that King Von was the killer, but also that he was the only one shooting. T. Roy didn't fire any bullets according to the report, the police only found cartridges from Von's gun, which was a semi-automatic Ruger SR 99mm. The murder weapon King Von used, were actually found three months later on January 11, 2013 after the police arrested a man by the name of Shaquille who was in possession of the weapon. Shaquille was of course not charged with the murder of Modell, this happens all the time in Chicago, once guns are used in shootings or murders, they are often passed on to others or sold on the black market. The murder weapon could therefore not be linked to King Von with DNA evidence, however the gun was certainly tested by the police who concluded that it matched the murder weapon in the Modell case. What actually connected the murder to King Von was the witnesses who identified King Von as the lone shooter in the case. I will of course not disclose any identity of the witnesses, however I can say what they stated. On October 13, 2012, Detective G. Jones and R. Garcia reported that Miles, who was Modell's cousin, was standing inside a front gate at 6344 South Rhodes Avenue talking to a female, who I won't mention by name who was his cousin. Modell then walked up and joined the conversation. Moments later, King Von walked up to the group, produced a handgun and fired multiple times at them and then fled southbound on foot. Four 9mm shell casings were observed on the ground at the threshold of the gate at 6344 South Roads. A pair of bloody blue jeans were observed inside the gates near the front stairs which belonged to Miles which paramedics cut off when they arrived at the scene. 
The female Miles and Modell were accompanied by confirmed the reports from the detectives and stated that a young black male dressed in all black, wearing a hooded sweatshirt, walked straight up to Modell and shot him. She also stated that Miles is not associated with any gangs but that Modell was a member of the St. Lawrence Boys faction of the Gangster Disciples. Another witness stated that she was home when she heard approximately eight gunshots, she then looked out the window and saw the offender, King Vaughn, still on the scene shooting, as she could see muzzle flashes from his weapon. The next day, on October 14, 2012, more witnesses stepped forward while others refused to be interviewed by police because of their fear of King Vaughn. However, one of the witnesses who were willing to step forward informed the police that the offender was a male black named Avon and that he resided in the Parkway Gardens housing project. She stated that she received this information from a member of STL slash EBT, who was present at the murder and who I won't mention by name. The police later identified this person as Davon Bennett, also known as King Vaughn. The detective was later notified that two individuals, one Jara City member, who I won't mention by name because he actually snitched, and Jakira Barnes, also known as K.I., were in custody for aggravated discharge of a firearm, and that the incident they were arrested for may have been retaliation for the shooting of Modell. The detectives learned that Jack Raya, along with the Jara City member, were arrested after they stood in front of the Parkway Gardens housing project, shooting indiscriminately into the complex hoping to strike anyone, not a specific target. They were simply hoping to strike any member of the Wick City faction of the Black Disciple Street Gang. Jakir refused to be interviewed by the detective but the The member from Jara City stated that he had spoken with the member from STL slash EBT regarding the shooting of Modell and Miles. He then stated that the STL member had informed him that King Von and T-Roy walked up and that King Von started shooting. The Jara City member then agreed to view photos of the suspects in a photo array. He positively identified Devon as in the King Von he knew, however, he wasn't as sure when it came to T-Roy. However he did identify James as in the T-Roy he knew but wasn't sure it was the person they were referring to. Several other witnesses gave the same story as this one and also identified King Bun in photo arrays as the sole shooter. Later, in 2019, the detectives were contacted by the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. They requested to reopen and reinvestigate a homicide case which King Bun was named as the offender in. The case was the homicide of Jakira Barnes which occurred on April 11, 2014. It was determined that if the Cook County State's attorney charged King Von with the murder of Jakira, attempts would be made to re-interview the potential witnesses in the Modell case. It was hoped that their cooperation would be more forthcoming if King Von were in custody and charged with first-degree murder. The hope was that the witnesses' fear of retaliation would be lessened if King Von were charged and in custody. While reinvestigating the Jakira homicide, the detectives learned that King Von was shot and killed in Atlanta. Later, on April 4, 2022, the detectives contacted one of the witnesses who agreed to be interviewed. The witness stated she remembered the shooting well and knew King Vaughn was the offender. She also said that she didn't remember any other individuals at the scene and said she was sure that King Vaughn was the lone gunman. The witness also explained that in 2017 to 2018, a friend of hers, who I won't mention by name, started dating King Vaughn. She stated that her friend sent a photo of King Vaughn to her and that she immediately recognized him as the offender who had shot Modell. 
She also stated that she remembered the fear that she felt upon seeing the photo. The witness informed her friend with this information and told her friend that she never wanted to be in the presence of King Von. However, her friend continued to date King Von but she did honor the witness request so she never had to see or meet King Von in person. The witness was aware that King Von had been killed in Atlanta in 2020. The police proceeded to re-interview more witnesses who stated the same thing as previous statements. All the involved parties were aware of the fact that King Von had been killed in Atlanta 2020. In conclusion, the police states that this investigation has proven to the satisfaction of the Chicago Police Department that on October 13, 2012, King Von shot and killed Modell from stl ebd while wounding and subsequently paralyzing Miles. Due to positive identification from eyewitnesses of King Von as the lone shooter, this case is now exceptionally clear due to the death of the offender. In my conclusion, it's really crazy to see this information get confirmed in a police report. Most of us already knew that King Von was behind the murder and I have stated in several videos that both King Von and D. Roy were present. King Von has long bragged about this murder and mocked Modell on social media. After King Von's death in 2020, these rumors were confirmed by members of STL EBT who uploaded stories honoring Modell because his killer had just died. I send my condolences to all families who have been affected and hope this brings some closure to their sorrow. R.I.P. to all people who have lost their lives to gang violence.